Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. I'm always interested about the folding texture with the Rhino 3D software. In today's 3D modeling tutorial, I would like to share with you this technique to creating folding fabric texture with the Rhino 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are many different ways to create something similar like this. You can play with the control point to get something similar, but I want it to look natural. So I found the easiest way and that's what I'm going to show you today. So that's starting from the scratch. I'm going to come into my front view and we're going to draw two curves to create our basic fabric first. So it's going to be organic look. So I'm going to have then up and down, up and down, something like this. It doesn't have any of a rule. I'm going to create another one. Uh, and again, doesn't have any rule. You can go up and down, up and down like this. All right. So then I have two of them. Want to get them close, All right? And then the second thing is we need to have them in a distance, right? And to simply to creating a surface, we're gonna use the loft command. We're gonna go from here to here, and then we'll get this one. So this is basically what the surface that we get. It is not too bad, and I want some more folding. So I'm going to hiding the original curve. Now, if you rebuild this surface, you're going to see that it is not much of a point that you have here. So I'm going to have a lot more point. I'm going to set a U and V to be 24 by 24, and we can preview it, and it's give us some more of the grid there, and make sure the degrees always stay with the three, and let's click OK. And then the command that we're going to use, it's called Maelstrom, and it's spelling M-A-E-L-S-T-R-O-M. I don't know where is that uh, for the icon. I usually just type it. But one of the things a lot of my students forget is actually we need to work on the control point. So I'm going to show you what you shouldn't do first. What it does is you can click on anywhere and then you are going to set it up. This is where it's going to rotate it. And then you're also going to click on two points. Like one is here and then you see another circle is here. That means if you are rotating anything, it will fall into those two circles right here. And what you're going to see is you see something like this, right? But it kind of, you are seeing the really obvious line right there. So that is the way you shouldn't do. And what is the way you should do is you should turn on the control point. And I want to go ahead to do the wireframe. And let's say I wanted to select this part right here somewhere around here. You can you can edit more control point if you want to uh, to be more irregular. Uh, and then you want to do Maelstrom. And let's go ahead to click it somewhere here. And this is the area and this is the area that we wanted to turn. As you can see, it's not it's not turning the whole thing. It's only turning on the control point that you pick. So if you go ahead to just twist a little bit like this, and you're going to see then we have this kind of a twist, right? And then we're going to do it multiple times. So this one, I'm going to select something look like this. And then we're going to use the same command. Maybe we're going to do something like this, something like this, and twist it back a little bit. And then you will have this kind of a folding. Let's do one more time. Maybe this time I want to include a bigger area. So maybe somewhere like this. And then when I do the maelstrom, I want to do only on off a little bit. So maybe here, maybe here, having a bigger twist, something like this. And then you will see now I have a really nice flow, right? So you might need to do multiple times. Let's take a look on the render view right here. So then you can see I have this really nice flow in there. And if you need to turn it into the solid, you just need to offset the surface. And I want to do something really thin. One millimeter is fine, solid equal yes. And then once you offset, then you will have something solid like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in Rhino 3D modeling and specifically wanted to learn how to turn in the 2D object into the 3D model, that including the organic form. I have a free webinar for you. The link is in the description below. Hope to see you in that webinar. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.